G'day scientists, today I'm reviewing two electronics kits for kids. This electronics snap kit, Snap Circuits Junior, and this Smart Circuits kit from Logiblox. Okay, first up the Elenco Snap Circuit kit. It cost me $40.23 from Amazon. Right, let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, on the top of the box we've got the instruction manual which is big and brightly coloured. Then we have this plastic tray which is what I think you build the circuits onto. Then a massive tray of parts, all of them colour coded. Let's set up the board ready to make our first circuit. The first step is to take this battery holder from the kit and place two AA batteries inside it. Ah, on the next page is a warning. You must not short the circuits out. This means you should never connect the two terminals of the battery together without something in between consuming the current. If you do this, it will almost certainly get hot and could easily catch fire. This might sound dangerous, but it is a real risk whenever you are building things with electronics. So introducing this to younger scientists is actually a good thing. Okay, let's do the very first project, which is to make the electric light and switch. First step is to attach the battery pack onto the circuit board. They attach quite firmly, so I would say this is definitely a kit for at least an eight and up. And because of the short circuit danger is one that you would need to watch over. The components click into place with poppers like you find on clothing. They're actually quite fun to pop together. Next, we're adding in the light to the top of the board like this. It just pops on two, then a connector underneath. That's one thing I can see that you need to take note of is the order that the things are attached. Every time you attach something, it gets higher. Then finally, we add the on off switch. Circuit complete. Let's switch it on and there we have a light. Let's make something more complicated, the space war alarm combo. This takes up a large quantity of parts from the kit, so I'll speed it up while I'm building it. It's the same combination of locating the right part and popping it into place using the poppers. You have to visually follow the instructions, so sometimes it's necessary to undo a piece and add it back in again if you get the order messed up a bit. While you're watching me assemble this, hit the like button if you found this useful, then subscribe and sign up for notifications so that you know when I'm next reviewing a science toy. Okay, I've finished assembling, let's switch it on. Wow, this is noisy! As you push the buttons and wave your hands over the sensors, the kit makes different noises. This kit has a lot of activities in it, over 100 projects. It's aimed at slightly older scientists. I would suggest an intermediate kit for an eight year old or a beginner kit for a 10 year old. It's easy to use, super noisy and was great fun to use. The kit is not foolproof and it's possible to create short circuits using this kit. I don't think that's a bad thing as when you're working with electronics, it's always a possibility. And this kit gently introduces this concept building skills as you work through the activities. I am going to give the Snap Circuits Junior Kit three stars for fun, three stars for price, and three stars for learning. Bye or bye bye. It's 100% a buy. This was a fun kit with lots of reuse and definitely worth the money. Right, next up I have the Logiblox Smart Circuits Kit and this was significantly cheaper from Amazon at $23.53. Right, let's open up and see what's inside. A plastic tray with all the components nicely laid out. It looks good and the components are all different bright colours. And the instruction book with the projects inside. Okay, those colours mean something. The first page in the book shows you that the blue ones are connection blocks, the orange ones are logic blocks, the red ones are output blocks and the yellow blocks are input blocks. First thing we have to do is place the batteries inside the blue connection block. The battery flap is secured with a screw and the kit takes three AAA batteries that are not included. The battery flap screws back down securely like this. Let's follow a project from the book and see how much fun this is to play with. Right, let's make the rain detector. We're taking the blue connector block and adding in the yellow input block to one side of it. It attaches very simply to the side like this. It doesn't need much force to apply, about as much as a Lego block, so we'll probably be okay for a five or six year old. Next, I'm taking the red output block and attaching it on the other side of the blue connector block. Once I switch on the blue connector block, you can hear that when I touch together the two wires from the yellow input block, I get a beep coming from the red output block. The switch on the red output block switches between a kind of pulse beeping or a continuous tone. This circuit is supposed to be able to detect rain, so let's test that out by placing the two leads coming from the yellow input block into a glass containing water. 
yes, it works. The circuit can detect water. The orange logic block is a not logic gate. This means that it will reverse the action of the circuit when we insert it. Here you can see that now, when I stop touching the contacts, the alarm will go off. Whereas before, the alarm would go off if I was touching the contacts. In this experiment here, I have a pile of coins on top of the contacts. When I switch the circuit on, the alarm does not go off. However, if I steal the coins, the circuit is broken and the alarm goes off. The kit was good, although you would be able to work through the 10 projects fairly quickly. I would say that it's best suited as a first kit for a younger scientist that's beginning to show an interest in electronics and how things work. It's not possible to cause short circuits in its kit, so it's much safer to leave kids unattended with it. There are other kits in the range with more components that would also feature more projects, so I think it's a cost-effective way to introduce electronics to your child. I am going to give the Logiblox Smart Circuits Kit 2 stars for fun, 3 stars for price, 2 stars for learning. Bye or bye bye? It's a bye, a great safe introduction to electronics for the youngest of scientists. These electronics kits were great fun to play with. If you're looking for kits for teenagers that blend electronics and programming together, take a look at this video and I'll tell you which kits you should buy.